Hello, my beautiful flower friends. Today, I have something extra special for you. I will be showing you how to make your very own pressed floral frame. So, let's get started. All the pressed flowers and foliage that I'm using for this frame, I have tutorials on. So, I'll link it in the cards for you as well. But this is completely up to you if you have any pressed flowers or flowers that you would like to press to use for this frame totally go for it this is going to be your frame and if you're making it for someone that just makes it extra special i am also using polaroids for my frame but if you have photos at home that you just want to put into a beautiful frame and showcase you could use that as well Spoiler alert, I am offering this as a kit for you to buy. The kit will include the picture frame and the Polaroids. So whatever photo that you would like to be turned into Polaroids, I can do that, send it to you, and you have everything you need except for the flowers to create your own frame. So let's get started with the tutorial. For supplies, we're going to need some regular good old clear tape. I like using this especially if you are new to making pressed floral frames because you can roll it up and stick your polaroids or whatever pictures that you want into the frame but at the same time if you want to move around in the frame it's easy to do that as well if you use something stronger like double-sided tape you're not going to be able to shift the photo around as easily as if you used this tape i'm using a white glue stick and I'll be using this to glue any flower that is more delicate and thin, such as the pansies for this. I also like to use glue sticks for hydrangeas as well, so if you have another project that you are gluing hydrangeas, I suggest you use glue sticks. Next, we have liquid glue. I use this type of glue for more of the hardier flowers or foliage. So for this project, I'll be using this type of glue for the eucalyptus and for the baby's breath. And of course, you need your photos. But if you wanted to make the frame a little different and have like a quote in there, whatever that is, that is part of your supply list. So to start out, I like to make a mock-up. For me, I like to keep movement in the frame, so that's why I like to put the pictures on a diagonal and those are going to be the stars of my show. Then I add in the florals and see how it works with the position of the photos and how it adds to movement in the frame. I like to create depth in the photo frame, so I do that by utilizing layers. So that means some flowers are going in the way back, some are going in the middle ground, and some are going on the foreground. But also keeping in mind how it interacts as a whole. For this frame in particular, since it closes like a book, you want to make sure that it can close. If you have any flower or foliage that has a thick woody stem, you're going to want to test out if this frame can hold it. If it doesn't, what you can do is you can trim the stem down carefully with a knife or scissors, but if that doesn't work, you're going to have to switch out your dried pieces. Once your mock-up is complete, take a photo so you know exactly how to rearrange it. The next step is to glue. So for the liquid glue, a little goes a long way. What I like to do is have a little drop of it on a palette and then I use a toothpick to only grab a tiny amount to layer onto the dried eucalyptus and make it as thin as possible. The secret to gluing with the liquid glue is to glue only at the spots that you know the dried floral is going to touch the glass or whatever surface you're gluing it to. That way, a little amount of glue does the job very effectively. For the baby's breath, I'm taking a dab of the glue with a toothpick, so I have a small amount, and I'm only putting this glue on the blooming parts of the baby's breath. Once your frame is all glued down, this is the final result. If you're using this tutorial to create your own frame, 
please tag me on Instagram because I would love to see how your frame turned out. Like I mentioned before, I am offering this as a kit on my website to purchase. It will include the frame and two photos that you would like turn into Polaroids. Whatever photo you want, I can do it. I will link that in the description box for you to check out. Until next time, happy pressing, take care, bye, and I'll link it in the show code.